So this video, I want to talk about falling out of love with abstraction and falling back in love with the real world. And so this comes from two different exercises in the No Self, No Problem Workbook. Check it out. It just came out on audio. And the person who did the narration did an outstanding job with this. And it's exercise after exercise. And of course, they're all simple. They're terribly simple, but they are not necessarily easy. And so you've had so much of doing to you to buy into this abstraction, that abstraction, and there are all kinds of consequences. So you might have woke up this morning and really thought it was Monday. And like I said in the other video, most heart attacks happen on Monday, and people can't sleep on Sunday night because they buy into the reality of Monday. And of course, there's no such thing as Monday. And so there's a lot of undoing that has to take place. And we could start with some of the easier stuff like days of the week. So the left brain has taken the continuous flow of time and it's separated into years and months and weeks and days and hours and minutes. And, and these are all really useful. If you have a meeting at Monday at 10 o'clock, it all works some of the time. And that's useful. But the problem, the suffering is caused when we buy into them. And we are largely asleep to the extent of which this has taken place. So someone mentioned uh, in the last video, they said, look, you know, I've got rent and uh, I'm behind on my rent and I haven't paid it last month. I haven't paid it this month and I'm going to get evicted. And so what's behind that? Well, all of these abstractions, while they absolutely do not exist, including ownership. So this person buys into this, that you know, look, I own this building, I'm going to charge rent for it. And that's all a collective hallucination. It only works because everyone else buys into it. You can't show ownership. If I say, show me, let me be conscious of this thing you call ownership, or let me be conscious of this thing you call Monday, it's you're going to come up with a bunch of nothingness, emptiness, because there's absolutely nothing to be conscious of it because it doesn't exist. But at the same time, there are real world consequences because everyone buys into it. It's going to be easy for that person to remove you from this building. And so the point of the video is to start slow. And in fact, I start off in the book, the power of small steps. And that is a really good, effective method. Because if you just woke up one morning to the absolute hallucinatory nature of all the abstractions, it would probably be such a paradigm shift. Uh, maybe that's what they call uh, instant enlightenment. But it, for, for a lot of us, it might be too much to handle, particularly on a Monday. <laughs> and um, but if, but this, the power of small steps is to start slow, recognizing the hallucinatory nature of Mondays, and then taking it a little bit deeper, and then ultimately recognizing that you, this concept of who you think you are, exists in the same way that Monday exists, which is to say it doesn't exist at all.